Hey everybody, thought I would uh, share a little video clip with you guys. This is a, this is a video where I was uh, flying and it starts uh, once I'm about a, a mile out from where I took off and uh, in this flight the battery failed uh, while the uh, drone was uh, in midair. So I thought I would share this with people so they could kind of see what it uh, what it looks like when that happens. And I thought I'd share like most of the whole flight so you guys could get uh, kind of an idea of how the whole thing went down. I flew out about a mile and this is me uh, returning once the controller lost connection it a uh, little over a mile uh, it lost connection and then it's returning to home right now it's under its own uh, control right now returning to home one thing that's uh, interesting about this return to home flight that I, I don't know if I realized before is that the return to home height was set at 200 feet but as you can see if I'm above 200 feet um, it's interesting that the drone didn't drop back to 200 feet before uh, returning returning to home. It stayed at its current altitude. So that's a, that's a good thing to note right there. Okay, right here you'll notice uh, right in front of the drone right there in the distance is a camping area and that's that's where the starting point was right there as we get uh, closer it'll come into view there's a, a bunch of people camping off to the right and then I'm kind of uh, in the middle of the parking lot straight ahead Okay, guys. At this point, everything everything still seems totally normal. the The drone is flying fine. Battery percentage and time and all status and everything all seem good. Everything is working as it should be. This is my third flight of of this particular day, by the way. So everything's normal. We're going to fly past. Uh, the starting point. I still got a lot of battery left, so I'm just gonna, I'm just kind of enjoying flying around and checking stuff out. You know, this area out here is the Table Mesa area. It's just north of Phoenix. And this is one of my, well, it used to be one of my favorite places to ride. I used to ride out here uh, quite frequently. And as we rotate around, it's about, I think it's just a little bit after 6 o'clock. And the sun is starting to come down. So that's a, that's a really cool sunset in the beginning. The beginning of a, of a nice sunset right there. But we won't ever get to get to film it or take pictures of it, as you will soon see.
And by the way, everybody, if this is uh, too much for you to uh, to watch, the wind was blowing uh, really hard. I wanted to mention that. You saw the props come into the view screen there. It's a super windy day. Uh, I would say that the, the wind was uh, somewhere around the 15 mile an hour range. And off to the distance to the right uh, is I-17. That's, uh, that's, you know, I-17 northbound to Flagstaff or back into Phoenix. But if this is too much for you to watch, this is taking too much time, uh, you can always fast forward to the crash. It's towards the end of the video. But um, I just wanted to give all the information so everybody could kind of see the whole flight and how it all went down. How everything was totally normal, totally normal. There was no indication of any problem. This battery had never had any problems before. I, I had no warning uh, that this was going to happen at all. I think we can kind of use this flight as uh, as kind of a, a lesson. You know, you 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 never know when one of these drones are going to malfunction like this. You just you just have no idea. Like I said, there was uh, no indications of this at all. This battery had only been charged uh, 29 times. It was uh, you know perfectly fine. It was taken care of. It you know taken care of properly. Um, I never ran it down. Uh, you know super low I did my deep charges like I was supposed to and you know this this kind of thing can happen so you know the next time you're wanting to fly over houses or uh, fly over people's yards or cars or roads or you know anywhere there's a potential for a drone to to come out of the sky and damage somebody's property or you know even worse you know fall on somebody or hit somebody uh, you know you know watch this video and kind of take it to heart that you know that this kind of thing can happen at any moment any time you have no idea when it's going to you know going to go down i trusted this drone uh you know a lot i would have not hesitated to fly this drone in any kind of uh precarious situation i would have uh i i have i have a lot of confidence in it i've never had any trouble with it at all, especially at uh, close in distances under a mile. No, uh, no problems at all. I uh, I particularly like this shot right here as you turn back around and the sun is off to the top right, and we're heading back towards the uh, towards the originating spot. I wished I'd have kept going in that direction, but uh, for whatever reason, uh, I turned left. It tickled my fancy for some reason, and I turned left instead of continuing on. I think that was uh, a really cool shot. But and now I turn back around, but. Uh, one of the things that's interesting about this area is that I had no idea there was this many uh, this many trails like everywhere. That's a that's a really nice shot right there, and uh, yeah, I really like that. I mean, if I, if this would have just been a little bit later, that would have been a really spectacular sunset right there against that mountain. You know, the drone that I'm flying here is my very first uh, real drone, and it's the uh, Altel Robotics X-Star Premium, in case I hadn't mentioned that. I'll probably put it in the title and the description or whatever, but uh, this drone is uh, two and a half, three years old, and it still flies uh, really well. Um, I've never had any trouble with it. As a matter of fact, this flight right here still has the original props on the drone from the day that I bought it. I never had any crashes, any problems, 
any anything with this uh, with this drone as far as uh, uh, you know major problems. So you know these drones are are still really good drones. They don't have uh, some of the bells and and whistles, but they're still a good drone. Now this is where uh, all all hell breaks loose right here. This is the final into where the battery fails and I'll kind of just walk you through it. I'm flying along. I'm actually uh, starting to just come back. I was going to come back and land right here. I was done flying and uh, suddenly I lost control of the drone. Uh, controller said uh, disconnected and just suddenly said landing now. You saw that it went from like 35 percent or something to uh, eight percent and it started landing and I had no control of the drone it just started twirling like something happened to the motors and now I'm waiting for the controller or the the screen to catch up with that twirling so I have no idea where I'm at I lost my orientation and it's still dropping like a rock and I'm trying to figure out which way the drone is pointed I can see it but I just can't tell which way it's pointed I'm freaking out you know and I'm trying to stay calm and uh, I'm just bringing it in because I know that if it lands out there that, it, that it's going to be a, a nightmare to find. So as I come in, I barely, barely miss this tree. Like I think the landing gear skimmed it and then it just drops out of the sky and I did my best uh, to save it right there as I possibly could. And that's, that's what happened.